Hey Leo, how's it going? This is Kelly from Moonpipe Tarot. Hope you guys are doing well. So we're going to take a look at your uh, next two uh, next two weeks, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. So yeah, let's get into your reading and see what shows up here for you. This is going to be for uh, Tuesday, July 2nd through the 16th. Okay, you're starting with Love Call. You have the Dragonfly and... And, and, and you have Cassette. Wow, okay. Someone reaches out, Leo, expresses their love. A message of love, thinking of you, letting you know. Uh, being lighthearted, finding out with the butterfly. Things coming to light. Leo and Cassette, replaying events over your head, over and over in your head. So I feel like what's happening here, you might get like, someone's going to leave you a message, like a voicemail which people don't generally <laughs> use voicemail anymore, or it's a text message where it's in like a spam folder. Um, it's like, um, it's not intended to be secret, but I don't know if you're actually in contact with someone where it could be new. This could be somebody new that you don't generally talk to or have their number. Um, you could get the message like through social media where it's in like a filtered messages, that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, I feel like with the finding out or things coming to light, it's going to be a little bit of a surprise to get this message. Now, it feels like a big deal. Um, maybe you do know this person, you're not in contact with them anymore, but it feels like a big deal because this might be somebody whom, there you go you have some kind of a past with or you have a connection with it could be a friend you know from a long time ago from your childhood um let's take a look here and see it could be from a sibling as well this message coming in um let's see now for some of you you might get the message like straight out like directly to you so it's either indirect or direct okay yeah there you go you have the page of cups so yeah Definitely a sweet, loving, affectionate message coming towards you. Somebody also might send you a song that reminds them of you, okay? Uh, a song that may be you and a past person, like your favorite song. They send it to you. It's so cute. It's kind of romantic. Um, let's take a look here. Yeah, there you go. Listen, Leo. The next couple of weeks, there's definitely a love connection or a friend connection being made here. Look at all this cup energy, for sure. Um, I feel like somebody here wants to have a reunion with you or reconcile with you, express their love to you. Let's see if we can... Okay, there's another cup card. So, Queen of Cups, feminine or masculine energy, Cancer Scorpio Pisces, this person completely single solo okay you may know them it could be new love it could be um an old flame for sure so you might want to it could be a pisces they're just saying definitely could be a pisces all right let's see what else is going on here next couple of weeks wow the fool okay somebody's somebody's ended something something is over on this person's side definitely over on their side and they're taking a risk coming forward starting over want to start over with you reaching out to you to let you know <clears throat> they're free from a previous energy is what i hear which is why they're reaching out to you now with the death card always endings bring new beginnings so there is 100 percent a new beginning now it could be with someone like i said that ended with you and you guys are circling back around or this person is circling back around okay i mean this is crazy this is really crazy there's definitely a love reunion or reconciliation now for some of you it could be with like old friends like i said or sisters siblings uh, there's definitely a circling back around energy here <clears throat> it's going to be a surprise 
you're going to find out about this. It's completely unexpected is how I feel. Look at that. And it's, it's hidden. It's hidden. So for the majority of you Leos out here, this is a hidden message. In other words, it's indirect. You might stumble across it by accident <clears throat> or see it somehow where you, it's not in the normal place it would be. Of course, for others, it could be just straight out direct. But the majority of you, it feels more like it's, it's a hidden message. You might, not, you might not receive it the next two weeks because you might not be, you know, uh, for some reason it just might not be available, but it will be there. It will be there. So now you're listening to this, you're probably going to go check. But look at this. You get the Ace of Cups with the star. So there is 100% a renewal, hope, a new love beginning with someone here. Okay. Now the only court card that was here is the Queen of Cups. So it could be a water sign. Now understand that this water sign, it could be their sun. It could also be their moon, their rising, their Venus. So keep that in mind. You'll obviously find out when you find out. But this person is hoping for a brand new start with you, a new love beginning. It could be, a, there's a, well, there not could be, there's a proposal, an offer of love coming in from this person. I feel like whoever this person is reaching out, maybe somebody from like the 80s or the 90s. I don't know, time when there was cassettes, right? Cassettes, like, you know, pop in the cassette in the cassette deck. <laughs> could be somebody from a long time ago for some of you um it's old school is how i feel it's old school <clears throat> i just heard the words living on a prayer living on a prayer okay let's see what else is showing up here for you for you uh leo yeah i'm telling you coming out of the woodworks this is definitely somebody coming out of the woodworks leo Oh my gosh, judgment. <laughs> I feel like whoever your person is, or this person here, it, there's this energy of like coming back around, opening up, being completely transparent, showing everything. Now they're telling me England or London, the UK. Somebody might be a musician. Could be you, could be this person, or somewhere surrounded in the music industry in some way. <clears throat> someone has long blonde hair, someone has short brown hair. There might be children or a child involved. There's definitely a reconciliation coming in. Someone here, this person wants to reunite with you. It could be in the public eye as well. So this person is showing up here really remorseful and regretful in regards to maybe letting you go or so much time passing. Um, they might be grieving the loss of someone as well. They could be a widow. Yeah, so I feel like you're going to hear from them. I feel like they're, they're going to tell you that they're thinking of you and for others that they miss you. They want to get back together. They want to talk. We also have the King of Pentacles. So it could also be an earth sign. Or you could be on the cusp of Leo Virgo, which would represent you here. Um, I feel like this person is doing very well financially for themselves. Uh, very stable. <clears throat> they got money. They have nice clothes. They have nice things. This is this is why we have nice things. This is this person. Taurus, Virgo. Capricorn, they're showing up here, very stable, business-minded, working really hard. We did see the Nine of Pentacles here, so like I said, I feel like this person's on their own, and they have their money in the bank, <clears throat> for sure. So they're going to be coming in in the next two weeks, whether you whether you actually read the message or not, it's going to be there, and it will be a bit of a surprise for you, Leo. Yeah. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> okay, so in my mind, I was asking for this Nine of Cups. I was asking why this person is reaching out. And as far as romance goes, you are, you are a wish for them. You are someone, their internal feelings, I feel like you are someone that 
they've always dreamed about. You are someone that um, you're just like a wish come true for them. Now, maybe you weren't in the past for some of you, but there's some kind of realization here with the judgment card. I'm hearing, let's spend the rest of our lives together. Okay. Wow, Leo, this is amazing. And of course, Leo, you're on top of everything. You are a bright, shining star anyway. So I do feel like you and this person are going to wind up together. Ten of Cups, happily ever after. And I feel like you, some of you Leos, someone here has intuitively always known this. And it was just a matter of timing. I feel like <clears throat> you both have kept each other on kind of um, a pedestal in some way. This could be like, you know, the old first love, first crush kind of thing. It's coming back around. Absolutely. <clears throat> You've had many ideas, perhaps, you and or this person, about what life would be like together. That's definitely showing up here. Even if so much time has passed and you forgot about each other, it's all in divine timing. It's all in divine timing. And so this is definitely what I feel like spirit has been maybe brought you together in the past. The timing wasn't right. Something wasn't meant to be. Temperance here is telling me that behind the scenes, the universe has been conspiring to bring you guys into union, uh, the angels. And uh, it might have been for some of you a long awaited journey, but I definitely feel like you're going to hear from this person and it's going to just kick off this brand new beginning for both of you. They're ready. You're definitely ready, Leo, that Empress energy. You're definitely ready for a new beginning. You're looking amazing, of course. The Empress, beauty, love, nurturing, uh, all about Maybe you had children. Maybe you got, you're at the age now where you're going through the change of life for the females. And it's definitely a time for shifting and changing. Maybe you've had a change. Perhaps maybe a sex change I'm hearing for someone. A low 2% of you. Um, but there's definitely the birthing of something new here these next two weeks. Okay. And I'm hearing waiting. You've been waiting. This person's been waiting, wondering. You might be across the world from each other for some of you. Could be like heavy geographical distance, Leo. <clears throat> Nine of Wands. Sitting with your heartbreak. I'm hearing somebody was sitting with their heartbreak for a really long time, uh, wondering when we're gonna be together. Been through it, Leo, you've been through it. Maybe with other people. <clears throat> this person's been through it with others. Definitely some baggage. Definitely some baggage. But in a place of peace now. Healed from that. Recovered. For sure. So, you know, Leo. <laughs> I feel like this message that you're getting is going to be really profound from this person. Something. It's going to be a surprise. Perhaps something that you've been waiting to hear from this person for a really long time. I'm hearing this person lost themselves for a little while, but they've always wanted you. Um, I also am getting, they were afraid to reach out for a long time. And I feel like that might have something to do with perhaps uh, you having other circumstances going on in your life, they having other circumstances going on in their life. Didn't want to reach out to start something when the timing uh, it's more so a timing thing, not as much fear. This person has replayed conversations over and over in their head. Right here with cassette. Replaying events over and over in their head. So this is definitely a connection from before. A connection that this person is finally understanding between the two of you. You came closer than anyone to this person, Leo. <clears throat> I 
I feel like you are constantly on their mind and I feel like for a long time you have been on their mind for a very long time there's no doubt about that and reaching out to you I don't know that this person has any thing in their head that tells them in other words it's going to work it's not going to work I feel like they just feel pulled to reconnect with you it's a reconnection oh my gosh you've got fate this is a destined partnership yeah you and and your person here were meant to be together and look wait the timing is not quite quite right that's always what the issue was had nothing to do with the love it was all about the timing so <clears throat> this feels very positive there was a lot of time apart between you and this person and I feel like there was a reason for this there was a purpose for this it wasn't time for you guys to be together I feel like it's very simple and no amount of will or force would have changed that it just was not meant to work out maybe a pregnancy came about something along those lines <clears throat> there is an energy here of needing to communicate, to compromise, to forgive, to work something out <clears throat> with somebody. Uh, forgive for, hmm, interesting message. Um, forgive yourself or forgive another person for it not being the right time. I feel like this, and, and coming from them as well, they might have said no in the past to you. Um because it was a right, wasn't a right time and I feel like this person regrets that. They have remorse about that. They're not reaching out to you because they're trying to relieve their regret and their remorse. It's more so because I just feel like they know. They just know that you and they are meant to be together. Yeah, there's intuition. Yes, this person, there might have been a lot of red flags. Maybe a divorce needed to happen. They are hap it's happening now for somebody. It's just like two people free, ready to be together. And then you have cycles. Yeah. Fate, karma, something ending, something beginning. Wow, Leo, this is crazy. Let's see if we can get the Chinese sign of the person. You and your person. Okay. And if you don't know your Chinese sign, just look it up. Look up your birthday, and then you'll find out. You're the pig. You're the monkey. You're the horse. You're the dog. You're the rat. You're the rooster. You're the tiger. And you're the snake. Now, if that's neither one of you, that's fine. It could only be, it, it could be just one. Oh, and you have the I love you card. It could, this person does love you. It could be just one. It could be both of you. It could be none of you. Don't sweat it. All right, let's get some charms and see what qualifiers. Come up here. All right, so um, at first I, w I thought that was a lemon, but I, I'm not, no, it's not, it, but it could be. Um, I'm, I'm seeing like a, a little, there's a bird on a branch here bird on a branch i feel like this bird is like very lonely off on their own there's something here in regards to a bird on a branch maybe you're looking at one right now singular bird branch or wire okay oh and you also have a frog uh some of you or someone here has kissed many frogs to get to back to each other or to get to each other they're just saying you might be a frog lover maybe you just love frogs or you're listening to like frog chirping music as a form of sleep somebody has tinnitus tinnitus am i saying that right <clears throat> helps with with tinnitus or tinnitus i guess it depends where in the world you are for that word and you also have a, a heart a locked heart and the butterflies transformation and change oh let me see if i can it doesn't want to what's going on this is like changing and opening up the heart. Yes, 
butterfly represents transformation and change, metamorphosis, changing into something brand new, um, increased. It's still the same, but a better improved version. Receiving the wings, your heart can now fly. Yeah, heart, heart with heart with wings. This is a locked heart. You know, I feel like this person, Leo, has had you in their heart for a very, very long time. They saved a secret space in their heart for you. Somebody could be born the year of the ox. Saved a secret space, place in their heart for you just in case the timing ever came around for you and they to come back together. And that's what I feel like is happening here. So the next couple of weeks... There will be some type of reach out, like I said, and you may not see it. You might see it later, but it's going to be coming in the next couple of weeks. All right, you guys, so I'm going to leave that there. Your next Leo reading, uh, look out for that on uh, the 16th of July, okay? The schedule for when all of my Zodiac readings are going to be uploaded is in the description box below this video. And don't forget, you can follow me also on Facebook, The Tarot Girl. You can follow me there if you have a Facebook account. And you can also get personal text message readings with me now. All right, you guys. So have a fantastic you next couple of weeks. And we'll see you very one. soon. Take care. No one likes being like two. You made this mess and left me with the pain.